everybody, it's Neil and welcome to the camper. And today I have this. This is the Air Things View. And this is really cool. I just got this and I already opened it and I threw away the box before I even got to do the review, which is silly of me because why would I do that? But check it out. So it looks like this and you can see it's, um, as you, if you scroll past it, it kind of gives you the um, emergency alert. So that was, you can see that by default, I have it currently set. So it shows my PM 2.5 and the VOCs and right now we're at 22% humidity so it's like so you see the little light in the middle it means it's giving um, a warning and that warning is that the humidity is too low which I don't really care too much about the humidity and I'm sitting here in my camper but I got this because I have my 3d printer right over there and I'll show you that here right there and I don't know what kind of stuff it's spewing out as it's melted all that filament and whatnot. So I want to be safe, but this is really cool. But if you look at it, it's got the screen is one of those paper screens. So even if the batteries weren't in it, it would still keep displaying. Like it doesn't use any power for the display. Um, it also doesn't display at night, obviously it doesn't light up. But in the back, you can see it has the uh, six batteries. So it can run off a battery. And these are just regular batteries that aren't rechargeable. But then it also can plug in through USB-C right down uh, there you can see plugs in there so then that's the way i have it set up so right now there's no back on it because i have it going right up here so i'm going to show you that how i have it set up it comes even with oop, what am i showing it comes with the um you know the some what are those called those uh command strips things those little tapes and it comes with the usb-c wire but it, i don't think it came with the plug though for the uh for the outlet, but I'm gonna plug this thing in and hang it back up here for a second. Okay. Okay, so now, so you can see I have it back up there now. So this is where I'm keeping it here in my camper and you see it flashes like that every time it does an update. So now the PM 2.5 and VOCs have changed. I think they were a little different a minute ago. But then, okay, so then, so then once it's all set up, then on your phone, and for me on my iPad right here, you can see I have this little app running and this app tells me uh, what's going on with it. And it connects up to the Wi-Fi. So when you're setting it up, when you first go into it the first time, it wants to connect up to your Wi-Fi and set up that way, which is really cool. And then, um, but so if you don't have Wi-Fi, you're gonna have trouble using this thing. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, if you're trying to put this into an office or something like that, I saw some reviews, people trying to put it into an office that they don't wanna get it on the Wi-Fi, it doesn't work through Bluetooth, it's just gonna work through Wi-Fi. So you'll not wanna do that. Okay, so this is it here. So it tells me, and you can see there's little dots next to humidity right now because the humidity is off. And if I click it, it kind of gives me the uh, trend over time. You can see all the different things. So that's kind of how the app works. And basically the website, if you go to the website, it tells you the same stuff. This one here, as it's going on the app, you can see you can kind of scroll around here and see what it was at at different times. Um, I think there's a little bit more information. It'll pop up actually with some more information um, on the website version of it. But otherwise it's pretty much the same. But this is pretty cool. I think, I don't even remember what it cost. It was a few hundred dollars. It wasn't the cheapest thing in the world. Um, but it's pretty cool because it gives you the whole update of everything there, what's going on. And me in my little camper, and then I have my little uh, 3D printer going there with different types of filaments. Right now it's printing with uh, PETG. And so usually I use PETG or um, like PLA or something like that. So those are pretty safe, but if I tried to, tried to do like ABS or something like that, I'd want to know what's going on in the air. So that's why I have that to warn me. Um, I also have like a carbon monoxide detector and other stuff in here too, just to check for regular stuff. But that's kind of what it is. So just wanted to give you guys an update and it's the AirThings. This one here is called the AirThings View um, because it has the screen on it. Uh, up there, but there's also like an air things wave and that's like if you wave your hand in front of it It tells you the stuff like right now if I wave my hand in front of it It tells me my the things that are giving errors like right now also the co2 is high so probably need to so probably need to just turn on my fan and get some more air in here. So that's the update on this. So uh, I'm going to put a link to it in the description. Be sure to like this uh, video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back with some other reviews soon. Thanks. Bye.